Так, так. Окей. Окей. Микрофон чек. Так, uh, yeah, so hello everybody and uh, today some short video about my sketchbook. <laughs> so like I finish one more sketchbook and uh, it's funny kind of sketchbook. It's like I have some, um, like I was bought some like frames in Ikea and uh, it's always have a lot of paper. You can see something like this with this um, frames data here and I think it's just I don't want to waste all this paper so I bend and bend them and uh, I have a bunch of this kind of handmade sketchbooks where I just draw in random stuff sometimes it's uh, like particular subject studies like uh, hands, legs, perspective stuff and uh, this one it was idea from beginning is drawing some silhouettes so I was just interested to spend some time for sketching silhouettes without any structure without like any inner lines just uh, like in general outline kind of outline shape it's kind of very interesting I think it's just like it's not like something like um, let's say it's not not like a way of drawing I want to learn or it's like skill I want to have just being able to draw uh, only silhouette without any um, like under sketch uh, no main idea here was for me first of all is just to kind of experience experience of this way of drawing experience of uh, like of this process when you uh, focus only on the outline when you like deduct everything uh, all these details all this information inside silhouettes and you focus only on silhouette and you try to kind of uh, grasp this uh, shape you try kind of um, kind of understand maybe this shape and the cut or even like from these shapes you also kind of try to cut unnecessary um, kind of unnecessary bumps you know it's like because when it's too complex it's impossible to draw so you like you make some certain deviations and also you should to think when you um, like avoid this two complex lines and you focus more on a, on the main kind of main representation main uh, feeling of this form so it's more it's just just this kind of you know um, practice for my brain I also want to kind of make some video about um, how to study, how to study in general and how to study ar art. It's a very interesting topic for me. And um, so, you know, it, it's kind of very simple and uh, well known idea. It's everywhere. It's like you can find that. Uh, educational video about about practice it's like why people need to practice like violin player or martial artist or like piano player why is they need to practice like repeat same thing again and again so and uh, kind of mm, neurology behind this it's uh, like when you do something new or you learn something new you kind of create this new connections in your mind and your inside your brain you know this makes the synapse connections stuff like that and uh, so 
uh, first you just make this new connection but uh, then you um, when you repeat it when you repeat doing or using this uh, new skill new information you kind of make it connection stronger and more stronger connection more uh, uh, also like more easy to use this skill to remember this knowledge and also this kind of increase speed of uh, recalling of this skill and this knowledge so this main kind of reason of uh, practice like is practice make your connection in your mind uh, which kind of you know about some information or skill important for you uh, this practice makes this connection stronger it make uh, faster to work and uh, as they compare kind of this with the like say at the beginning it's like very small like um, trail in the grass where it's just some couple of people walk a couple of times so you all barely can see uh, it will it's have some direction in the grass you know but more people walk more you walk this road uh, more you kind of uh, make this visible this road and then one day you put some stones there then you make this concrete road then you turn this road for like a bicycle road for motorcycle road for and then like more is uh, more this way more this um, kind of road is uh, useful more it's important bigger as this road became and this in a kind of in a like absolute like top way kind of is became sort of highway when you can like drive 200 miles speed per hour you know so and uh, so and this represent when your skill when your knowledge became subconsciousness it's like it became your intuition so is this kind of very basic very important uh think about about learning anything about uh, learning language about learning drawing about learning any uh craft it's uh first it just became aware about techniques about things second you became more familiar with this then more you use more you practice this you became more like um fluent with this and eventually like in the final and as a result of a good of regular practice this information become became kind of part of you is going to your blood you know it's like so then you don't need to recall you don't need to think about this you just uh, use it uh, without even noticing so it's, it, this call intuition intuition is generally it's like it's uh, it's this like connection in your brain which is have very, is very strong and uh, have very good uh, speed there so signal will go very fast so it's uh, it's so often f when you need this and you, you <coughs> and you develop it so well so it even work without you uh, you needing to be concerned about it so it's kind of goal for artists to practice you practice first to struggle a lot then you it feel more fluent and then you just kind of you go in you sh you change in your goals from if beginning was your goal it was just being able to draw anything being able to draw something look like human or face look like human face then more and more your goal became more and more specific so it's like these general things became your intuitional level became your part of your nature your subconsciousness it's like no more problem for you to draw human face or human now your goal is much um, 
spe more specific is like how to draw particular emotion how to draw human which will make somebody feel certain way like how to draw this picture which will make somebody feel something you know so it's like and, and you you make some precise kind of intention you know like i want uh, people think about this topic and uh, to like be touched uh, to the bottom of their heart and like cry or stuff like that or i want to like uh show how awesome something so for me it's like my favorite is just to share my aif you know like when i see something uh amazing and i want to transport this to image so people when they watch image they can share this aif kind of feel same aif like i feel same or not same i don't know how to check it uh, but at least uh, people really have a reaction when you put something when you have this intention it really works somehow yeah so on um, back for this kind of <laughs> sketchbook here here is like i was copied tahara uh, arts uh, you kind of can find his instagram or here um i just sometimes i look like how different artists uh, work with the lines it's like how they uh, simplify or like sim symbolize different elements of face or anything oh hello Sergey <laughs> what uh, and uh, it's again it's like kind of vocabulary like symbolic vocabulary it's like uh, I, I have like material to use and I need to know this kind of vocabulary about or like um, how it's called note note if i'm a musician right so uh how can i use it what kind of language symbols have to make certain images so how people like simplify eyes nose shadows hairs how is this like m most important yeah for me it's like uh, it's to learn how they um, make decisions like how they I include or exclude things so it's like how some very uh, limited amount of lines can give you very big um, broad kind of uh, feeling you know like you you can see form you can see uh, light and shadow you, you can feel volume you know like here it's like really you can feel this kind of volume like like a roundness of eye uh, volume of nose of chain this cast shadow this really works or how this like beautiful uh, shape of a lips you see it's like uh, just like kind of by about of 10 lines stuff like that and it's have beautiful amazing like uh, if effective uh, striking look over here it's just just two lines some little variety with thickness and you have a lips so it's kind of interesting yeah. also here is terada terada if someone wrote, wrote his name i will show later and it's kind of this so here uh, mobius mobius is kind of god of uh, ink uh, tools kind of you know of line of line art it kind of you can see like m so many artists contemporary artists who use line in the work they somehow they kind of have this connection to Mobius style so and uh, here Hell Foster I find here have amazing illustrations with nature same like how he simplify how it's it's kind of really like a symbols you know it's like how this um cloudy little like roundish lines make this feeling of a foam on the water kind of how he makes these waves with the foam again and like how he show difference between moving water like waterfalls and stuff here and uh, stones rocks 
and it's kind of just trying to catch this idea and snatch these tools and tricks. So, and here's my favorite artist. He's insane. You can check his. Uh, he have. I, I will give also a link uh, in, uh, in the description for his YouTube and Instagram. It's a uh, Daniel Warren Johnson. He's like uh, drawing different. Uh, yeah, drawn comic obviously. Yeah. So it's here is a, a web comic book. His first kind of big comic book in the internet. Space Mullet. So you can Google it. It's very cool. And same, I was just interested like to try his uh, his way of drawing kind of things. And uh, yeah, so here you can see uh, how he do. He play with the line thickness. He has this uh, very interesting black spots. And he used gray, so it's kind of um, he really like manga style. So sometimes he used cream tones and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, you should study Mobius. It's crazy. He's just mind blowing, and he's a father of line artists. <laughs> I mean, I think I should. At least I like to think this way. I, I bought on YouTube or oh, on Amazon. I also bought this uh, Möbius book you can find this new edition World of Idena it's so crazy he have so many stuff and you look like oh my god I see so many artists like who was inspired or copying like imagine I'm making images for him it's just like trippy and uh, so interesting and like I'm mean, what again what I like about this particular world of Adena by Möbius it's you see how few lines he use it's so different from his um, blueberry comic books where he draw like really complex he has this like you know when uh, this works when he uh, render a lot but here he use so few li of lines and like you can see, you can see this landscape, you can see all these faces. It works amazing. So special effects for here, yeah, it's in nature. So again, like main purpose, main purpose is not to just like copy like I want to be I like my best. It will work, probably it will work too, because again, it's just about your brain connections making your brain network you know uh, but I have a video in my YouTube you can check about how to draw nature and there in the beginning I talking about how to study from artists about drawing nature so uh, here it's like you can you can study very very direct and precise concrete things like how to draw apples you know how to draw tree trunks, how to draw this uh, uh, foliage and how to draw this um, f kind of forest, how to draw field, how to draw this insect. So it's just a ready language, uh, a kind of example of very economy way and a smart way of using line. So you can see look really really like a uh, very good descriptive nature but when you start to copy on it you see like wow it's so few of lines so great Check. so I have so many different uh, you know like kind of landscapes and always this looks just just perfect Good space sky fi nature crazy yeah so <clears throat> yeah so and here is uh, Daniel Warren here also I was kind of studying from him I was 
uh, trying to understand, to practice how he used this uh, Pentel brush, brush pen. Very cool brush pen. It's got like cartridges stuff. So I was kind of just exploring this thing. And, and, and using this like recycled paper is very cool also just to don't don't be worry much it's just for practice <clears throat> yeah so you can see this kind of manga uh, speed lines and stuff here also about how to draw lips it's just like you know it's really is like when you it's like in Mobius actually he have this quote he say like uh, he feel almost like orgasm when he draw like li precise line you know it's just like something I don't know it's like when you your line so uh, fine and um, right way you just feel it so right way it's like here it's like ho oh, oh, it's just I have no idea how this artist I forgot his name just use like this few lines and draw so beautiful nose or be so beautiful leap here I was just uh, like first it was so ugly kind of like I cannot catch this finesse you know but then more and more and it's kind of start to catch it and this kind of propose you know when you see this finesse and the uh, mm, kind of beauty of lines and other artists work and it's like okay I want to be able to draw like this and you'd copy copy you try it's like okay finally I can do something like this then you can repeat then you can keep it uh, in uh, kind of improving or stuff like that same here just try different uh, stuff like about just face here is broken here is better but st still main idea was it's just about this lines for build nose like see how this uh, lines here just one two three line we have these nostrils and stuff and uh, it's just like repeat repeat for hundred times to be sure I'm my hand kind of accustomed to this movement <laughs> Uh, here I was like kind of um, just kind of figuring out how to help myself with drawing hands and I will do also a tutorial about this for sure now I, I kind of still making this uh, let's say like I want to have this plan in my head how to better to talk about this and also to be sure I have a good clear image it's because uh, you know it's interesting it's like it's very good to talk about how to learn things when you are also learning and um, when this is still fresh when you already learn it then and when, you, and when you are very good at it it's not very interesting to talk about this and you really kind of forgot already how to do this it's like I say just go to subconsciousness now for me hands is like kind of very complicated things but I can see improvement a lot I improve with drawing hands a lot, I feel much more confident and every time I find new pro way to practice this, to improve it I see it really work better so here for example, it was this one you can see it's this thing about um, you know, say instead of every time study all hands you can just uh, to practice drawing one finger in different angles in different positions and uh, I simplify this finger to his uh, uh, like general shape here is like uh, when one side is kind of flat it's like this bone bone side right outside of finger uh, and uh, oh. <laughs> so like Hoover and the uh, inner side inner side here is is we have this like uh, let's say like a baggy baggy shape 
pillows kind of right so and uh, let's say we have like extreme open like this and extreme close right then so this is finger from these three parts it's all kind of movement can be so we have these two extremes and in between so also you know if we're thinking about this um uh, it's like what is most nature in usual positions this kind of two extreme looks like kind of usual positions and uh, in between will be something like this or like this it's kind of usual positions too all other one is not so we have just four you know so we have just four Let's see, yeah, like uh, four, about four or five, kind of, let's say, four main, uh, main kind of positions for these three bones. And then you see what uh, funny thing. Uh, we can consider these three bones according to uh, hand, right? So now it's like this, you can move it here. And can, uh, according to these three bones itself, nothing change, nothing change. So it can be extreme like this, it's go here, it's go here. So it's same three bones. We just, if we draw all together, we just consider them like the relation, right? But if you practice very good how to draw this one single finger itself from different angles, it's already helped you a lot. You know, you can draw from here, from here, just one single finger, just these three, three bones, two joints, you know, that's all. This helps a lot, because now you're able to repeat this, one, two, three, four. Uh, thumb is a little different, but it's a very similar actually situation. So here I was just kind of practice training my mind uh, with those different angles of this simple form. And then, so like I say, we have this, let's say, palm, right? So we have this one finger. Um, second finger, and you can... What was that? You know, so and uh, yeah, and let's just put here this thumb. No, no, I just make very brief uh, talk about this. Later, I will uh, do a tutorial about hands. Just give some. It's not like like ultimate tutorial about drawing hands, but uh, about uh, how to um, tips about uh, like helpful tips and techniques about how to improve your draw hands drawing because it's a very big topic and you cannot learn it from one video or from one book you need to draw and uh, practice a lot it's really so it's just like for me it's like i i try to do everything helps i find any tips which will work and will help me and gradually build 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 this understanding and gain this experience and the uh, skill kind of developing this skill you know so here you can see also this kind of simplification and just kind of practicing in different positions Tuck. so here I was also um, just kind of experimenting with the uh, simplification of uh, hair like Haskell hair sink Can painting help to oh, no actually if you're if you're graphic <laughs> you still need to use colors right so painting is what do you mean painting using oil paint so you study what do you use want to use in the painting is like color theory and the techniques of using 
material kind of right so it's like how to how to apply oil painting on canvas or how to use watercolor watercolor also can be used in graphic and uh, so of course uh, it's just like you you uh, I mean it's, it's totally useful yeah it's totally useful to learn and practice color theory and painting in general to help your uh, kind of your graphic I mean I mean if or if you're okay if you're never want to use colors then just don't make painting <laughs> what's the point then <clears throat> I kind of I like painting and uh, it's just like because I like it you know and uh, mostly I like drawing black and white but also I like colors and sometimes it's just fun to paint <coughs> okay so here again you can see this simplification just too simple form to kind of blocky shapes and some practice and copying I have name no? okay so artist is Tirada Rather something Japanese artist for good second name will write also in the description. A very cool artist. He draw also fantastic marker sketch on the big boards. Sounds like Kim jong -gi. So here is this like thumb positions. Oh, and then just different more drawings. Exercise and practice. Here is also a funny way which just help you to understand drawing uh, hands and fingers and just simplify it to ribbons. Because again, it's like what why is so good and important because it's really help you to get this solid no uh, uh, vision and understanding of a three-dimensional form of a hands and the fingers. It, it not drawing just this uh, kind of uh, outlines, you know, but draw this forms. We just have like this side, outside, inner side, left, right side, and stuff like that. So here, of course, in the hand is like kind of this top, is and inner, outside and inner side is kind of most uh, practical, kind of and uh, useful. So this why is kind of ribbon shape. You know, you can just with the ribbons you can make a lot of work with the drawing hands it's like main kind of thing and, and it's kind of this why it's also complex to talk and I don't want to kind of make hand tutorial right now it's just some demonstration of sketchbook but I want I will prepare this and make some system overview um, of a kind of drawing of hands because it's have like different elements different uh, um, points and way of looking at it it's like you know it's like have anatomy it's have a perspective have this like volume it can be like angular it can be uh, like bu bu bubble you know so for example especially when you draw like a toe, toe toes like small fingers and uh, looking like in the front of you say like this right so like this is like a long forms but when it's looked towards you it just became like very um, it's like it's not uh, lines it's not straight lines anymore it's like a round round lines Let's show you here so like this So 
so like different situations require different way of seeing of looking at it you cannot use only one approach or learn only one uh, like best way of drawing you, you kind of you can choose later to uh, prefer one of them So it's something like this. So it's just simple <laughs> demo kind of thing. You know? So it's like how is a set of uh, circles instead of being lines or ribbons or boxes or sausages. No, it's just kind of overlapping circles as main as main form. And then, of course, you can kind of break it on a kind of boxy form. So then it will be like this. Because when you look at this for shortening, it's, uh, it's kind of harder to look at this as a ribbon. You know, it will be, it will be something like this. Yeah. So this looks kind of weird. It's not how it looks when you see real hand, right? It doesn't look like a ribbons now. It's, but uh, like this one, it's very close to ribbon. I mean, it's, it, all this is just like metaphors and uh, s uh, simplification which helps you to draw. It's not because hand is hand, palm and fingers, it's, it's their own thing. But by using these terms and simplifications, we boost our understanding and uh, make practice kind of um, effective practice of drawing this, you know. Because this, you try ribbons, you try boxes, you try outline, just like this, you know, just outline of hand. And all of this. All of this have um, gain for you, you know, kind of can give you some good, uh, helpful um, um, yeah, kind of experience again. Use the same word again. Yeah, so that's it. This is a short review. Of one of my sketchbooks, so called, uh, which is just a bunch of recycled paper from IKEA. And uh, so, write me anything in the comments what do you want to see in the next videos. But now I plan and I will try to make it more often. I plan make tutorial about drawing hands, about drawing feet, clothing. Uh, and uh, of course we will draw more perspective stuff so thank you for watching see you soon <laughs> Dark.